I was on Twitter, and I interacted with a guy that goes by the handle of Wall Street Cynic, who seemed pretty convinced that there is an issue with charging the Model 3 in very cold weather. Well, after an early software update, I've had zero issues charging my Model 3 in the cold. So I decided to walk outside and make a quick video to illustrate this point. It's pretty cold here in Chicago, 12 degrees Fahrenheit, aka negative 11 degrees Celsius. It is cold enough that you can boil water and throw it up in the air and it will turn into snow. So here I am going to start charging my car. That blue snowflake you see here basically means that the battery is about as cold as the car will allow it to become and power and charging speed is limited to protect the battery. So I'm about to start charging in about as close to the worst conditions I'll encounter here just to prove the point that the car functions normally and there actually are no issues. You can see that my car is pulling 48 amps to start from my 240 volt connector. The car will regulate the amount of power going into the battery throughout the charging cycle and will keep me from doing anything stupid or knowing anything more than I need to plug in my car. So these guys seem to say that because uh, Model S's and stuff, other EVs have ba dedicated battery heaters and the Model 3 does not, um, that it can't charge and they're referencing this looks like this guy's situation so first of all 120 volts get real who <laughs> 120 volts 12 amps is going to charge slow on anything that's never fast you know it would, it would charge in, in perfect conditions it would take 24 hours to charge your car at 12 volts, 120 amp. At 12, 12 amps, 120 volts. So uh, debunked just looking at it because anybody who with any EV knows that uh, charging off of 12 amps is just crazy. Um, so these guys seem to think that we all can't drive our cars. Um, and they're wrong. So that's why I'm doing this. Yeah, but you were able to get there and back. You know what I'm saying? You were able to get to home and back doesn't really matter what the rated range is. It matters, can you drive the car and does it have enough energy? And clearly it did. Um, so anyway, these guys seem to think that um, we can't drive our cars or that they don't charge, but they do. They do charge. They do work. So um, one thing to kind of um, give some validity to what um, these guys are complaining about is, um, so it is it is cold. Uh, so my car is charging. When I first started charging it, it ramped the amperage up, and now it's ramped it uh, back down. Um, you know, usually in my plug, it would charge 48 amps. It would charge at, like, about 40 miles of range an hour, you know. Um, that's what it would do. Uh, so now it's it's charging slower than that. You see the little blue thing there. That means that the, the battery is cold soaked. So it's it's trying to protect the battery. That's why it's uh, dialed the amps back down and it's uh, got the that uh, speed slower. That's what you see there, that's 17 miles an hour. Um, so I think, I'm gonna turn this on me. Okay, so I think there is a basically a fundamental misunderstanding in the way you fuel an EV versus the way you fuel an internal combustion car. With an EV, you don't drive to a gas station. You just plug in at home. When you get home, you just plug it in. And you, you saw I have a little connector next to my car, and I just plug it in. No big deal. Go to bed, wake up. Car's ready to go, full range. Say I at, drive an average uh, 100 miles a day, um, and let's say the car used, you know, twice as much range as it normally does. It doesn't matter because there's there's still like range to boot at the at the at the end of it. And when I get home, I just plug it in again. I never have to go freeze my butt off at a gas station. So here, you're you're right. The car charges more slowly in the winter time. That is true, but it also kind of doesn't matter. So if let's say it ordinarily takes three hours to charge at night and now it takes five hours to charge at night. Who cares? <laughs> it's when I'm sleeping, it doesn't really matter. Car is ready to go when I wake up. 
you know, I guess the next argument would be, what about for like a road trip? You know, um, like if you're, you know, trying to get to a supercharger. Well, when you're on a road trip, um, the battery's already warm most of the time. Usually, if you've been dry, if you start off with a full battery from home, live in Chicago. Let's say I'm driving to Nashville. I start off with a full tank. I get to Lafayette which would be the first supercharger stop, my battery is already warm because I've been driving it now for a while. It will charge fast. Uh, last time I charged there, I think I waited for half an hour, 40 minutes. It was enough to um, eat and go to the bathroom and stuff. And then I drove to Louisville and did the same thing, ate, um, went to the bathroom. Um, and th those are kind of long stretches, you know, we're talking like a three hour stretch. Um, so no problems there. So really there is no problem no actual in the real world problem uh, charging the Model 3 in the winter. Uh, if you want to argue that it doesn't have a heater for the battery, um, it it doesn't have a dedicated heater for the battery, but it uses the, the motor. The, the resistance from the motor is what they use to, to warm up the battery. Um, and it works. I mean, I'm in Chicago. This is pretty much as cold as most of North America is going to get. And... <laughs> It works fine. Uh, this video is directed specifically to the couple people that I interacted with on Twitter today who um, seem to think that there's some big problem charging uh, Model 3 in the wintertime. Um, I'm here to tell you that there isn't. Uh, it works, it's solid. You guys seem to have some evidence to the contrary, so I'm just giving my real world example um, of this is how it works. And um, yeah, I guess I'll show you a little bit how cold it is. Okay, so. There's one cup of boiling hot water. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> yeah. So I tuned in here just a little while later. You can see that the blue now is gone in the uh, charging app, which means the battery is warmed up. Um, and now it's running at 48 amps to the car and uh, 35 miles an hour. So this is about the regular speed that it would be going because now we're over half full. Sometimes it's kind of ramping the speed down. Anyway, 35 miles an hour, it's going plenty fast. Um, I think I have it set to uh, set to 90%, which is around 270-ish. So anyway, I think we started around 130. So. We'll see how this goes. I gotta go get some Thai food, but my car is charging just fine, no problems. Um, I don't know, been charging for like an hour. Got 42 miles of range in an hour, which is pretty darn good if you ask me. Uh, the car usually gets um, about 45 miles of range an hour in uh, perfect conditions, and these are not perfect conditions, and I'm still getting almost 45 miles of range an hour. I think the bears, or uh, the grumpy bears, or people who, um, I don't know, are just generally upset in life would say, oh my gosh, it takes an hour to, to get that much range. But here's the deal, you never do this. The, char the car charges in the middle of the night when you're asleep and you wake up and it's full, you know? So it doesn't matter if it takes an hour or two hours or three hours or whatever because you're asleep. And then you wake up and the car's ready to go and unless you're driving uh, hundreds of miles in a day, who cares? The car's always ready to go. Um, and if you are driving hundreds of miles in a day, you'll hit a supercharger and your battery's already gonna be warm. So I think that wraps up this thing. Um, I'm gonna go unplug my my car. So here's the not frozen charge port and the freezing temps. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the fueling station. There she goes. Easiest pie, man. Sure beats uh, standing out in the freezing cold at a gas station. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my hands don't smell like garbage like they do when I go to the gas station. And my car is already warm, so plenty of benefits of having an EV. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.